Maybe I should bring this back to Minerva first. Is Serene really there? They're lucky to be alive. The gods of stars truly blessed them. I can understand why she has no intention of coming to the shelter. After being locked up for so long, she could never stay put. I agree. I think she's very strong. Strong? Hmm. Just bold, I imagine. Which is better, really. I don't want to be the one to comfort her. Serene meant a lot to both her and me. If we can work together and join forces, it would be best for both sides. I believe she's thinking the same. Maybe that's why she didn't come to the shelter. Maybe she wanted to do something. I know. I just don't want to admit it. It's different. Good, even. Shouldn't you be preparing for your next mission?
time is of the essence. They had been trapped there for too long. No wonder they were so miserable. If Serene couldn't even handle the War Axe, what was the point of her political career? Didn't she become an Archon to help the poor? Then she has a lot to make up for. If she had left earlier, she would not be struggling so badly now. I don't think she'll succeed in the end. It's impossible for her to regain the trust of the Aristoi. In fact, I hope the mistress stays far away from her, so as not to increase the pressure on the adherents. That's very sad to hear. Mm, I feel sad for you, child. You are as naive as her. Have you ever thought that your sympathy may have given Serene false hope? I... <sighs> what do you need? Continuing my father's vision. I can hardly believe it's finally happening. Andreas, what are you looking at? Nothing. You seem so deeply moved. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> I've grown used to your cynicism. All right. It's beautiful. But all I see is the dead you own Petrius. You're right. He helped me build the Academy, but he must have a reason. I may end up becoming a puppet, or we may both get what we want. I just hope I can still remember this feeling, right here, forever. You will. You're the same to us. As for you, you must remain by my side, and remind me of this from time to time. Have you no other friends? <laughs> Unlike you. Sorry. I feel your magical aura. You must be here. You... Humanities. Is that you? Of course it's me. I'm back. You won't believe what has happened to me. I'll thank the gods you're safe. This is amazing! <laughs> the gods? No, this is no doing of theirs. But your body... Are you? This is just a projection. Not the real me. I created this spell to make things easier. I'm still exploring the possibilities. I... I don't understand. So... You're still alive? You seem worried. There's something wrong. Oh, I want to talk to you about many things. Oh, you'll understand. I'll show you. But what are you doing here? I'm helping these villagers. They were abandoned by Barad and ignored by the hunters. I see. I slept for so long, but the world hasn't changed. And there's still so much suffering. Are you all right? You don't sound like... You may save their lives by staying, but how long can you sustain this with your resources? 
what we need to do is to alter the very rules of the world. Anything less is a waste of time. This isn't a waste of time. Human, what's going on with you? You would have never said that before. That's because now I have power. I can do more and greater things. Come, help me, sir. I'll show you that I haven't changed. In fact, I am even closer to my ideals. Human, I'm sorry, but I... I have to think. Is this all too much for you? It's all right. I'll come again. I will convince you. What's your business here? Rod warned you not to harass these people. I am taking care of the villagers, as my duty requires. Please pass the message to Barad. If he has any issue with me, he can talk to me directly. Talk to you directly? Ha! You no longer hold the power you used to, you know. As for the fools who accepted your help, you don't need them anymore. You have half a day to take them away from here, or else... Or else what? <laughs> Andreas, you fancy yourself Serene's guard. Rod is the reason why you're a warrior. In the first place, you ungrateful swine! If you're still here after tonight, I'll hit you in the same place again, with my blade! Take a punch or two. Just put up with it for now, so we can buy some time. Put up with what? We really have to leave this time. They mean what they say. Understand? Even those hunters told us to pack our bags. We're not exactly popular around here. <sighs> Have you read the myth of the Tree of Stars? I skimmed it. The Tree of Stars buries the wicked alive to nourish the good. Will we get buried under that tree? Why ask? Because we allowed Andreas to do such a thing. That makes us accomplices, does it not? We were just following orders. Is that how you rationalize it? Because I believe in the Centurion. His vision isn't limited to good and evil, but the more important things are not permanent. And that takes a lot of courage. The courage to sacrifice others? Why didn't he cut off his own hands and feet and feed them to the Archon? I've had enough of all this. I'm leaving, my friend. I mean it. Didn't the Centurion eat you today and order you to stay? Yes, but you see, I learned something from that myth about the Tree of Stars. Darkness and evil can only ever be restrained. They can never disappear. At least now, I'm able to choose a side. If you don't want to see me go insane, just let me go. Take care, my friend. You too. to talk about the war axe. We should wait. We must be away. The only chance is for you to retreat to the bazaar. I wish I could, but the people I contacted only want to shelter me. I'm still trying to convince them to take in these refugees, too. Just wait for me. Your position won't hold sway. We're interpreting times now, and you know it. You can't take all of them. It's time to make a choice. This is about my faith and the people's trust in me. 
If I abandon them this time, I'll do it again, and they know that. I can fabricate an excuse to get you out, and it won't harm your reputation. How can that be if I'm the only survivor? My fate is linked to each and every one of these people. I repeat, protect them. I'm going to leave them to their fate. I am only responsible for you. So that's that. You don't even listen to me now? Do you want me to be such a pathetic Arkham? Do you want me to break your oath? What if I say we can't make it? Give me a few days. I'll make a decision as soon as I hear from the people at the bazaar. I've cast a spell on you to stabilize your condition. As far as those whose skin color starts to change, you need to do one more thing. But it's not a problem. After that? I told you these are only temporary. As the commander of the Legion, you should learn what happened to Aethus. So, you're going to stay or leave. If you are going to leave, this will be the last time I help you. If you stay, I have a way to protect you all from the curse forever. My king is under the same curse. Can you really resolve this? <laughs> Don't think so small. The curse is not only affecting the king, you know. But we now share a common interest. Don't you agree? Look, I'm trying to save Aethus and figure out the root cause of the curse. If I succeed, your king will recover as well. Tell me about your plan. Good. Let's start with the truth about the magic in Aethus. Mind your manners.
This whole situation is infuriating. So many good soldiers. It's difficult not to feel sympathy for Serene's decision. I know she wanted to help the people of the Black Streets, but did she overestimate her abilities? As for Andreas, his ending was exactly like I expected. Too bad I didn't get to see it in person. You did well. He should have paid for his actions long ago. I'll see you later. One moment. You fought Andreas. What did you think of him? He was a tough opponent, and I felt a lot of pressure when he was talking. He was really annoying, wasn't he? Hmm? Did I say that? Back in Fallon Academy, you might have observed the reason behind the conflict between Andreas and he always talked in the most insulting, humiliating way. I warned him so many times that his behavior had a bad influence on the discipline and loyalty of the soldiers. But in the end, I was the one that was punished. What happened? I was in command of the escort squad. But things went south, and I was forced to make some difficult decisions. Andreas had no honor or shame. He asked me to abandon the soldiers who fell behind, and use them as bait instead. Oh, that's totally something he would do. I refused, and made my decision based on what the Academy taught. The result was... unsatisfactory. It took me a long time to regain my position after being demoted. Yet Andreas kept rising through the ranks. After that... He kept criticizing and victimizing me in order to climb higher, all so he could become Serene's guard. It's hard for me to accept that the Archon wasn't involved. If I were you, I'd be questioning it too. Thanks for sharing that with me. It's nothing. I'm only saying it now because I feel it's time to let it go. I've found my home, and I've pledged my loyalty to the Mistress. We are all striving to do the right thing. I should feel pride, I know. Thank you, Hilda. I serve Lady Minerva. Bayan, I found this. Is this a dog tag? Do you recognize it? I do. I once served as a centurion, you know. I promoted many great soldiers. They were all my brothers. This one was originally a mercenary of the Black Streets, until the army found itself in need of more men. You allowed mercenaries to join? It was the Archon's decision. I didn't like it, and as it turns out, they did bring down the overall standard. Some did rise through the ranks to become Aristoi guards, but most were like Uriah, barbarians with no sense or manners. They were good warriors, but they lacked intelligence and were prone to picking fights. They don't sound like good brothers. Uriah may not have been my favorite, but I do remember every single soldier who ever served under me. Oh, this is... It's a pity. But I believe the gods of stars will watch over him. Are you alright? Yeah. Don't blame yourself, please. Neither you nor Odysseus did anything wrong. He tried to do what he believed was right, and he never regretted his decision. Not even after this. Even so, I still think Barad deserved to die. But I didn't think that my decision could lead to this result. There's never a perfect option. All we can do is to be strong and accept the outcome. If you really feel bad for Odysseus, then you should make sure his spirit lives on. I will.
spy on. I found this at the entrance to the Temple Pass in the sunken outskirts. Vangelis's dog tag. Huh. They finally reunited among the stars. They were good friends? More than that, they were inseparable. If Odysseus was a man of principle, Vangelis could be described as both boring and stubborn. Their differences were a constant source of arguments. Many times, I thought their friendship was surely over, but the next day, I'd see them in the tavern together. That sounds so sweet. They were true brothers. Yes, it was interesting at first. The others loved to joke about them. But after seeing them for so long, I wish they could have taken a step back sometimes. Perhaps then, they would have bickered less. It couldn't have been easy for you. There were a lot of soldiers more difficult than them. I worried too much. I just felt bad for them. If they hadn't joined Andreas, things would have been much easier for them. I warned them long ago to stay away from him. Even if they admired Serene, there were other options. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just complaining, I suppose. The glory of the three. I've heard what you accomplished in the sunken outskirts. Truly remarkable. Stop flattering me. What are you plotting now? Fred, don't be so harsh. I was just feeling nostalgic. I remember all the prosperous farms and the Quintus storage warehouse. Are you trying to get me to run another errand? I do wish you could assist me in this matter, but alas, this time you cannot. <laughs> Ugh, not again. No, no, this warehouse was destroyed. All my goods are gone. I was just thinking, had you come to Aphis earlier, maybe my warehouse would have survived. Sorry to hear that, but I can't fix everything for you. Even so, you will always be a hero to me. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to your next visit, Fred. Sweetie, you just did something great again! Rescuing Serene was a big deal! She's a beacon of hope to so many people! Oh? I didn't expect you to have such a positive opinion of her. It's because she's always looking out for the poor in Aphis! <laughs> hey sweetie, what's up?
Look, I found a new blueprint. Awesome, cutie. It's very detailed. Now I can make more trinkets for you. I'm surprised. Serene made it. How did she do it? I wouldn't have been able to if it was me. Do you think she'll be all right back in the Aristoi Quarter? Of course not. Are you kidding? She wasted her position for so long. But I'm actually starting to admire her for trying so hard. Just a tiny little bit. Hmm. What type of music do you like? when you have time. What surprises me most is that Serene hasn't changed one bit. Even after everything she went through, her will is as strong as ever. She may not succeed, but I admire her determination. So do I. I'm listening. May the three bless you. Is there anything else I can help you with? As a matter of fact, there is. I almost forgot. Could you give this sheet music to Marissa for me? Ma, uh, what? She heard me playing and said she was interested in my compositions. So she's been asking me to write them down so we can play them together. I see. That sounds nice. But why don't you give them to her yourself? I really don't know how to deal with her, so I think it may be better if you do it. Right. What Humanity said was terrible. Hilda, he's really dangerous. I hope our brothers and sisters in the Legion are safe. Did he mention them? No. It was a complete mess. I didn't have time to ask. Don't get me wrong, I'm not blaming you. I just hate waiting here like this. Do you think Minerva would let me join you? I can ask. No, forget it. I made her a promise. I won't go back on it. I'll try to find something to do to take my mind off things. You always play a piece of music when you complete a mission. How about playing something now? I do like your music. 
No problem. I have been missing the folk music of Anbari. What do you think? Otto wanted to give you this sheet music. Oh, how wonderful! Thank you so much! But what are these symbols? I've never seen notation like this before. What? And are these round shapes the notes? Can you explain? You're asking the wrong person. I don't know anything about music. I see. I'll ask Otto then. But I'll start with my own interpretation of the arrangement. Come to chat when you have time. Hilda?
time is of the essence. Is there something you want to ask? What are you planning to do now? I wish to help the adherents, as a favor to Minerva. I can help with that. Have you been to Argus Plaza before? Not yet. Let me know if you'll be going there. I'll see then if there's anything you can do. I hope there are more beacons of light out there like you. It doesn't even matter if I'm criticized for my actions. Only then can I be sure that the world is changing for the better. I want to go to the ocean. 